All right, so in this video, we're going to go over the module one study guide. All right, so the first question states, how can the equation below be rewritten to solve for M? So we need to get this letter M all by itself. So in our notes, what I said to do was to first add or subtract. So we're going to do that first. And I can see that B is being added to the M times the X. So if it's being added, I'm going to do the inverse and subtract B from both sides. So now I have Y minus B is equal to M times X. Then I said my second step was to either multiply or divide. So in my second step, here I see that this M is being multiplied to the X. So I actually want to divide both sides by M in order to get, I mean, divide it by X. Divide by X in order to get the M alone because X Divided by x will become 1, and so over here on the other side, I just end up with y minus b divided by x is equal to m. Now I have the m all alone, and I've solved for the letter m. That was it. All right, now in question 2, it says the formula for finding the parameter of a, par a parallelogram is shown below. So this is the formula to find the perimeter. What is that same formula rewritten for B, rewritten for B in terms of the other variables? So now we need to try to get that B all by itself. Now, I just said to do adding or subtracting first. However, we have this problem, and that's this two. This two is outside of the parentheses, and so we actually want to remove the two or divide by two first in order to get rid of it. So I'm going to divide by two, divide by two. And when I do that, I'm going to get P divided by two. And I can just write it as a fraction. And that is now going to equal B plus H. Now I still don't have that B alone. That B is, you're adding H to it. So now I need to get rid of the H. And in order to get rid of the H, I'm going to subtract H from both sides. So when I subtract H, I end up getting P divided by 2 minus H is equal to B. And that is my final answer because now I have B all alone. I've rewritten it in terms of the other variables. All right, we have one more literal equation, and that is the formula below can be used to determine the area of a triangle. So we have our formula A equals one half of B times H, or base times height. We need to rewrite the equation to solve for B. Now there's nothing to add or subtract here yet again, but we do have this two here in the denominator. We have a fraction of one half. So how can we get rid of a fraction of one half? Well, we have to multiply by what's in the denominator. So we're gonna multiply by two on both sides. So now I have two multiplied by a, and now that's going to equal B multiplied to H because one half times two cancels out to become one. And so I am left with two A equals B H. Now my last step is going to be to get rid of this here um, H because it's being multiplied times the B. We are going to divide by H because H divided by H is one. So we have to divide this side by H. And our final answer is two A divided 
by h is equal to b. Okay, now questions one through three, if you need to review, came from our notes on 1.5. So if you need additional practice, go check out your 1.5 notes. All right, question number four. Xfinity is rolling out a new gaming subscription for its TV subscribers. Xfinity develops the expression 4.5x times s minus 7,115 to estimate the amount of profit per subscribers. Okay, profit per subscribers, and they indicate that as the letter s. Well, that's the letter that we have in our equation there. If Xfinity sets a goal of $125,000 of profit on gaming subscriptions for the first month, how many subscribers do they need in order to reach the profit goal? So the first thing we have to do is set up the equation, okay? So we have 4.56s minus 7,115. That's going to equal the 125,000 goal for their profit, okay? So this number came from our goal for the profit. And then this is the equation that they gave us. And now we have to solve for this letter S. So first thing we need to do is add or subtract. Remember, add or subtract first. So we're going to add 7,115 to both sides. Okay, so when I do 125,000 plus 7,115, I get 132, 115, and that is equal to the 4.56s that I still have. So now I have to worry about getting rid of this 4.56. So all I have to do now is divide. So now I'm going to divide by 4.56 on both sides. And in my calculator, all I have to do is hit divide, 4.56, and hit equals. And you see I get 28,972.58. Well, I can't have 0.58 subscribers, so this is going to round to 28,973 subscribers. All right, we're gonna do one more question in this video, and that's the taxi question. So a taxi ride in Los Angeles costs, and I'm gonna erase this, okay. It costs $3.75 plus $7 for each mile traveled. Write an equation to represent the situation where D is the distance traveled. So that's our mile traveled, okay? So we're gonna have 3.75 plus 7D, okay? The D came from that's the variable they told us to use. Now they're telling us in this problem that Javier traveled 9.5 miles. So I'm actually going to take this 9.5 miles and plug it in for D to find the total cost. So my new equation will look like 3.75 plus seven times 9.5 and that will equal my cost that I spent on the taxi ride. So in my calculator, I'm gonna do seven multiplied by 9.5, and I'm going to add the $3.75, and I get $70.25.
All right, so that is it for the front of our study guide. Make sure to check out the second video as soon as I post it.